This morning I'm going to read from the book of Luke 6, 41 to 42. Now, I remember reading this a long time ago, you know, but this this one of those ones, I call an oldie but a goodie. So Luke 6, 41 and 42 says, And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying, friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite, first get rid of the log in your own eye, then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. And um, today I'm just grateful for God's will and grace. I'm grateful to be alive this morning. I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my children. Uh, grateful for each and every one of you. Um, this particular verse is, again, <laughs> like the, all, the, all, the, all the ones in Luke. One thing, you know, they would say that Jesus would speak in parables, but a lot of these, um, a lot of things that he said were pretty straightforward, you know? Um, like in this particular verse, he's just basically reminding us to not be hypocrites, you know, and to not be so quick to judge each other. And to be so quick to to basically be worried about other people's business, you know? Um, I mean, <laughs> the thing about it is, is it's a global issue, you know, because we can't even pinpoint, because I'm going to say just now, boy, my people in the Bahamas different when it comes to people's business. But, you know, the, the reality is, is, is that people are going to be people, you know? And that is also something that you have to leave room for margin with when it comes to our personal lives as well, too, you know, because, you know, I, I can sit down here and say that um, I don't, I especially with my wife, you know, like me and my wife will sit down and we'll discuss events. I wouldn't say that we, we talk about people because we, we ain't really them type of people, you know, like we wouldn't sit down and like talk bad about anyone. But, you know, like, we'll have conversations and be like, you know, did you notice this or did you notice that or, you know what I mean? But it's never in, in um, how can I say it? It's never in, like, 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 with ill intent behind it. You know, like, we don't sit down and laugh at anybody or laugh at anyone's misfortune on something. We're very conscious of that. You know what I mean? But we would, like, sit down and, and, and <laughs> discuss certain things and we notice, you know? Um, and while I wouldn't say that, you know, that's a bad thing as humans, we, you know, that's just how we are. But the thing is, is when you cross that threshold and when you cross that border and now it becomes with malicious intent, you know, or when you, when you sort of tend to point out things in others, when you, when you know that you have so many faults within yourself or knowing that you don't want people to point out the faults that you may have, you know what I mean? So I think that in this particular verse, God was just sort of reminding us that, you know, we all are human and we all full of error and we all can go through things. And like, like you know, our Grammy them used to say, precious and endearing, you ain't boss, not until you're dead, you know? So you don't, you just have to be very conscious and, and try your best to be kind with persons when you're dealing with them because you never know when your season might come, you know? You never know when... Your time might be, you know what I mean? And you want people to offer compassion to you. You want people to be kind to you. And it, and it's just really and truly about, like, because in, 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 actually in the verse right before this is where God said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And all of this just falls underneath that same sort of umbrella, you know? Like, you you know that, because, you know, word, words are so powerful. You know, I, I can go a little bit long. I was going to close out on this right now, but it, there's something that, I think that we all, and this, this, this isn't for anyone in the room. This is just for listeners and for anyone in general, right? You know, one of the most powerful things that God has given us is our voice, right? This voice of ours is the voice that gifts, but this voice of ours is also the voice that curses. And we have to be so careful in the way that we choose our words, because sometimes a person may prefer you to physically hurt them than to verbally hurt them, you know? Like what you may consider to be constructive criticism might be deconstructive 
criticism to somebody in their life. You know, when we speak to people, we need to realize like how powerful our words are, you know, like sow seeds of gratitude into them, you know, sow seeds of, of, of appreciation into them, sow seeds of, you know, being kindness and, and being helpful to them. Like, you know, you just never know what somebody going through, you know, and our voice as, as insignificant as we may take it to be, you know, as just something that we use, this tool that we have, or this thing that yaps and with lips in the front of our face, you know, is something that God gave us that is so powerful. Because guess what? You see that same voice that we have? That's the same voice that we use to pray. You know, that's the same thing that we use to communicate to our God with, you know? And whether or not we see it, we have to take accountability for it, you know? So when we think about saying something mean to somebody, even if it was not not intentional, you know, because sometimes it'll slip out, you know, backtrack and think about it. And if you did it, you know, ask for forgiveness afterwards, you know, or when you see somebody and you have the opportunity to be kind for them, you know, use that same voice to, to be kind to them or pray for them or cover them, you know, because listen, again, I can repeat this, you ain't pass nothing until you're dead and you just never know what people is be going through sometimes, boy, you know, so let's just use the continue the rest of this week and <laughs> going into the next, rest of this month, I should say, because the month's soon over. To just be kind and to use our voice for that platform, our platform of kindness. So thank you everyone for the opportunity to speak. Sorry for going over, you know, just talking too much. And I'm Carrie and I relinquish my mic.